Hey, what's happening, guys? A couple weeks ago, I did a video on a bunch of uh, RF stuff I'd gotten from Timu, like these 90 degree connectors and this uh, RG two third or RG three sixteen that goes from an SMA connector to a uh, SO two three nine. And somebody had mentioned they wondered what the insertion loss on this was because I'm always mentioning insertion loss. So I was going to show that today. So I got out all my RF connections, and I simply don't have the right connections to make this work without adding even more loss with a bunch of goofy connectors. So I thought I would at least show you how to look for insertion loss. And to do that, I've got a piece of um, RG58AU, 50 ohm coax. It's about, I don't know, 20 feet of it or so. My friend Snow Diddley gave it to me. So Jim, we're going to see... Uh, how lossy this cable is. It's got uh, built-in uh, PL259s. I have the Nano VNA here. It's been calibrated for the hand bands. The hand bands that I operate on, so from 5 megahertz to 30 megahertz. And we're going to connect this up here. This finger tight is all you want. All right, let me turn the uh, light on this camera off. Okay, so we're taking two readings here. In the yellow is our S1 run read, S11 reading. That is the uh, SWR. And you can see it is uh, 1.0 or completely flat across the band, which tells me this is truly a 50 ohm cable. Now, for s21 which is our insertion loss we need to go display trace trace one format s21 through log mag there we go so now over here we have our loss in uh, log magnitude and that's the blue line. So the yellow line down here is our reflected, which is just a signal coming out of port one and being reflected back in. And we have our loss, which is a signal being sent out of port two into port one. And I can um, scroll across the bandwidth here and you can see something kind of interesting. Oh, I don't always do this. It always goes on a transform when I do this. I don't want transform on. There we go. Okay. So now we can... Well, now it's not sweeping. Hold on. All right, I've got our sweep going again now, and you can see the uh, frequency that we're at right there. So we started all the way down here at 5 megahertz. Our loss is... 0.21 dB, minus 0.21 dB, negligible. And our SWR is 1.08. You can actually see there's a little dip in the SWR as we move down there. It's probably about, what, 15 megahertz or so? 17. 18 megahertz. That's what, the 17 meter band. Our loss is 0.25 or 35? 35. Minus 0.35 but our SWR is just beautiful, 1.031. So that's our loss across the cable. Very little loss at these frequencies. This is a good cable. So what if I take and add some, <laughs> what if I add some loss to it by screwing on a bunch of completely unnecessary connectors? Let's see what I can make up. All right, let's start with uh, port two. And we got an RG213 with a BNC to SMA. So somebody somebody out there got a piece of paper and a pencil. Keep tabs. How many connectors we're adding? So this is two. Two connectors. Two, two, two connectors in one. So now how about... Oh yeah, here we go. BNC back to SMA. 
SMA oh, SMA back to BNC and BNC back to SMA SMA to SO239 So 239 to a PL 259. To an SO239. I'll even put it at a at a jaunty angle just for fun. So come on, screw on there. This one just doesn't want to screw on. All right, here we go. So for all of you pedantic physicists out there, we're changing two planes in that 90. Okay, so from here, then we're, we'll go back to our RG58AU. And I need the other end of that. There's a couple pounds of insertion loss. All right, so now we got our other end, which I can go to what? I can go to SMA. I think we're at the end of the line yeah so we'll throw in another SMA connector I'll remove this SO239 from port 1 and insert this Rube Goldberg mousetrap of a cable. Okay. Oops. Try not to have any kinks. Try not to have my cable wrapped up anyway, but this is uh, quite interesting now. Okay. So we have a loss here of minus six. But look at that dip. Oh man, this is this is completely unstable with all those fittings. Look at the SWR. Oh, I just all I do is tap that RG three sixteen. Watch. So our SWR is. I just touched the table. Our SWR is 12, 11, 10. We don't know. It's in there somewhere. But this just goes to show you. I had a dip there a second ago. Bring back the dip. At 12 megahertz, we've got a loss of minus 42. But, I mean, I've got so much hardware on here that it's impossible to guess just know that each piece of connector you add adds to your loss so how many connectors do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten connectors in that will uh, definitely give you some loss all right guys i hope that gives you an idea of how you can measure loss using a vector network analyzer. This is the cheap one. This is the uh, Nano BNAH, like 70 bucks on Amazon. And then I designed and 3D printed this little case 
to hold it and hold your uh, calibration standards there. I'll put a link to it down below if you're interested. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.